Mark 15, 34 tells us that at the ninth hour, Jesus cries out, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? At this time, Jesus is dying the most terrible death, the death of the cross, the penalty the Romans used to execute criminals. Indeed, on the day Christ died, there were two criminals facing the same fate. There cannot be many other scenes from history which are so familiar to us all and so agonisingly brutal. When I visualise this scene, I see the Roman soldiers despising Jesus, jeering and mocking him, spitting at him and dividing up his robes, not seeming to have any conscience about the barbaric act they have just committed. There were the two criminals, one who seemed to understand who Jesus was and asks Jesus to remember him when he comes into his kingdom. Jesus replies, Today you will be with me in paradise. And then there are the women standing at the bottom of the cross weeping. One of these women was Mary, Jesus' mother. As a mother myself, I cannot begin to imagine how terrible that experience must have been for her. She did have the comfort of Mary Magdalene and others, but how can one be comforted at such a dreadful time? Then, when she must have felt that it couldn't get any worse, Jesus cries out, Aloi, Aloi, Lama, Sabachthani, which is translated as, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I wonder, did Mary feel like this was the ultimate abandonment? At the very point of his severest pain and suffering, Jesus seems to be telling Mary that he feels his father has abandoned him. When our loved ones are dying, we want to be there for them, right to the end. And more importantly, we want them to know we are there. If I had been Mary, I would have felt confused and crushed to hear this cry. However, for many years I took comfort from these words to know that even Jesus, the man who was without sin, the one who always knew what to say, how to respond to questions, the one who performed amazing miracles, at his end he showed what it was to be human, just like me. However, it is still a puzzle. Why did Jesus say this? Did he really feel abandoned by God, his Father? After all, when we feel everything is lost, when we feel life can't get any worse, we do feel abandoned. However, Hebrews 13.5 tells us, I will never leave you or forsake you. And if God will do that for us mere mortals, I am sure he will do that for his only son. No, in those awful moments, as evil men were allowed to do whatever they wanted to Jesus, God placed the sins of the world on his son, and Jesus for a time felt the desolation of being unconscious of his father's presence. So, this is it. This is the moment when Jesus takes on the sins of the world, the sins of you and I, so that at the very moment we first acknowledge Jesus as the Son of God, and that he has died in our place and has taken our sin, we can live our lives here and now in the knowledge and wonder of being forgiven. What a cause for celebration. And what about Mary? Was there any comfort for her in these words? I think there was. She had been given knowledge from God even before Jesus' conception that this person was special, God's own son. I'm also sure she knew the scriptures well and recognised the cry, Why have you abandoned me? from Psalm 22. And maybe it was Jesus somehow reminding, reassuring her of how his father had taken care of David in his darkest moments. As if this wasn't enough, this poem also reminds us that God will never abandon us. One night I dreamed a dream as I was walking along the beach with my Lord. Across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to the Lord. After the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. 
I noticed that at many times along the path of my life, especially the very lowest and saddest times, there was only one set of footprints. This really troubled me, so I asked the Lord about it. Lord, you said once I follow, follow, decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I noticed that during the saddest and most troublesome times of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, when I needed you the most, you would leave me. He whispered, my precious child. I love you and will never leave you, never ever during your trials and testings. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. Amen.